Hello everybody. So in this session, I'm going to show you how to record your song with Presonus Studio One Prime version. Okay, so Prime is a free version from Studio One. If you are not sure how to download and install it, I suggest that you go back to my previous videos and watch how I did it. I have a step-by-step -step guide for you for both Windows and Mac. Uh, OS. Okay, now let's move on to today. I'm going to show you how to record your song. So there are two ways that you can do it. Okay, now first is the easy one. So for those of you who just want to record your vocals and you're using a backing track download from somewhere else, right? So I would suggest uh, for English song, you can go to karaoke versions to download. These are paid um, backing tracks. I'll leave the link in the descriptions, which you can go and download it. And if those of you for Chinese, okay, I'm still looking for a good one. Um, if you know, please uh, leave a comment in, in, the, in the comments. So where do we go and download the Chinese backing track? Um, I've known a few, uh, but it's also paid. Um, they will probably need your mobile number and all that. So I'm not so comfortable giving that okay but anyway let's come back to this so i have made a purchase uh, from karaoke version so let's work on this song it's called aerosmith easy way to the easiest way is drag and drop the song so let me just do it for you so i can just drag and then you will see that converting aerosmith songs i don't want to miss a thing backing tracks blah 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 so it will just run the Okay, so we probably need to speed it up, but in any case, it's just a few seconds. So let's talk about it. Now, if you are importing the song, uh, on top of this area, you will see I have intro, I have verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. So if you are not sure how to, again, add it in, you can watch my previous videos. I've explained how to do it. But if you are just recording your vocals using the backing track, you don't really need this arranger okay so you don't need this it's simply just drag and drop so uh, so the track is up so let me drag it to the front okay so regardless you will not need this indicator because it, it doesn't matter right the songs already arranged for you nicely so I can uh, hover over here and put it up you can see all this is so let me just play for you it's very loud right and lower it Okay, so I think this is good volume. Okay, stop it. Now, so what we can do is basically have a song with the backing tracks. What I need to do is record over this. So how do I do it? I can go here on the top left, add track, or there is a shortcut T. On the add track, you can actually put it. So let's say, for example, I want to do a Vox 1 example, and I can choose color. Let's use orange. Okay. Now, for the input, I can choose my input for the mic. Now, if you are using the USB mic, you don't really need to select input or output. It's just, it will just works for both ways but remember if you are recording vocals please uh, use the format mono format okay now if you are using audio interface of course you will need to select so how you go about it is on top of your studio ones go to preferences or options in the windows you will see this so in this case i actually have uh, my audio interface under audio id 14 so if you are using your USB uh, devices, your USB mic, you just choose accordingly for the input and output. Okay. Now, um, for sample size, actually 512 is just nice. If you use larger sample size, of course, it captures um, better quality, but it will also create latency. So I would suggest for any of the uh, computer, I think 512 is... Now just select OK. Now back here let's do the recording now in order for us to do the recording there are a few things that you need to take note first thing is first you need to arm the track okay so how do you arm the tracks is you will see this record button just click on it and of course it will also activate the monitor 
on my case because I'm doing a screen recording so if I arm the monitor you will hear double so I only just need to turn on the record and then you get what I mean so I have to turn it off for monitor so I can't hear myself but it doesn't annoy you okay now over here of course I can I've already selected the input which is my analog too so in this case when i'm speaking you will see the meter is running if you have done the correct selection so when we do recording we don't record over the backing track we actually create another additional track to record over it this is called multi-track recording okay now of course you can also adjust your vocals usually i will have like minus three just in case the volume is over okay then it clips so usually i'll just select that um, to work on that so what i'll do is i'll just play a short um, intro and then i will just sing over it so that you know how it feels but over here you don't need to arm the track because you are not going to record over the backing track okay so i'll just simply hit the record buttons or the um, number pad so there's a pre count that i've uh, selected again you can also watch my previous recording uh, videos to know what is the difference i think i've not talked about it maybe next time i'll talk about it i could stay awake just to hear you breathing Watch you smile while you are sleeping While you're far away and dreaming I could spend my life in the sweet surrender I could stay lost in this moment forever Okay, I actually can't hear myself very well. So I'm so sorry if I am out of tune, but you get what I mean. So let's do a playback and hear how it actually sounds like. Okay, so let me come back. I could stay awake just to hear you breathing. Watch you smile while you are sleeping. While you're far away and dreaming I could spend my life in the sweet surrender I could stay lost in this moment forever Okay, not too bad A few notes that it is out of tune But you get the idea Okay, so this is one way to do that let me just uh, show you another way to do that, which is you have your instruments, whether you are playing keyboards or if you're playing guitars, you can play using your instrument first and then overlay your vocals. Let me just do it for you. Okay, so now let me just go back to the intro. Okay, let me take out my guitar. So again, same thing. Okay, so uh, let me see. Um, we're going to do with this guy. Okay, so I'm going to arm the track. So I'm going to use the instrument track first. Okay, so let me just do, uh, let me just try it. Okay, so you see um, there the meter is moving. Okay, so I activated pre-count and pre pre-count yes pre-count so it will count one bar before things get started so let's do this oops i'm so sorry i have to mute this otherwise everybody you will see you will just hear whatever track so remember to do this ah huh? this is the mistake okay let me just delete this track and let's try it again now the problem with this type of recording if you are doing 
with instrument is that you can only hear the count af uh, for the pre-count. But after the pre-count, if you don't hear any metronome, you have to activate it. So at the bottom right, you will see this metronomes over here. So you have to click and activate it. Okay, let me just delete the track again. So that when you start recording, it will still keep counting. Otherwise, it's just count um, before the before the recording start. Okay, so now let me try that again. <laughs> okay, so let's do it again. So you see, recording it is not straightforward. It has to go through a lot of takes sometimes, you know, for those who like amateur, just like us, okay? Okay, so let's try again. Okay, I'll just stop it here. There are still things that we need to work on. Okay, so sounds not too bad. But probably gotta record again, okay? So this is to show you. So I can actually do it here, um, put a cursor here because before that it was just all the intros. I can also activate a pre-roll. So let me just show you the pre-roll. Pre-roll means that it actually roll back to one bar and then and, and it starts from one bar before your recording start. Okay, so let me just do the recording now at a box. So I move on to the vocals and then I disarm that on the instrument so that it doesn't record but I don't mute it okay so I'll, I'll just arm um, yeah so I'll just arm this and let's try to record again again I'm not hearing myself on the monitor so please bear with me let's get started <laughs> Watch your smile while you are sleeping While you're far away and dreaming I could stand my life in the sweet surrender I could stay lost in this moment forever Okay, let's review this I could stay awake just to hear you breathing Watch your smile while you are sleeping While you're far away and dreaming I could stand my life in the sweet surrender I could stay lost in this moment forever 
okay, not as bad. So I hope you learned something today to the recording, you know, the track, uh, your song. So I hope to see you on next sessions. If you have any comments or any feedback question, please ask in the comment sessions. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So enjoy, happy recording. Bye-bye.